This is a demonstration of a PNT alkalinity burette titration. The first step is to fill and zero the burette with sulfuric acid titrant. Zero the burette by squeezing the bottle until the titrant reaches the zero mark. Next, gather your sample. To prevent contamination from a previous titration, rinse the flask with the sample to be tested. Then, use a graduated cylinder to accurately measure your sample and add the sample water to the flask. The next step is to add 5 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. After the addition of the reagent, swirl to mix. The solution should turn red. If the solution remains colorless, the p-alkalinity is zero. In this example, the sample is turned red, indicating that there is p-alkalinity that needs to be titrated. The next step is to titrate the sample with the sulfuric acid titrant using the burette. Make sure you are mixing the sample after each drop until the sample color changes from red to colorless. Record the number of milliliters used to reach the endpoint. Use this result in the calculation of p-alkalinity. Do not refill the burette at this time. The next step is to add 5 drops of total alkalinity indicator. After the addition of the reagent, swirl to mix. The solution should turn green, indicating that there is still alkalinity that needs to be titrated. The next step is to titrate the sample with sulfuric acid titrant using the burette. Turn the stopcock to add the titrant to your sample. Make sure you are mixing the sample while you add the titrant. As you near the end point, Turn the stopcock so the titrant is being dispensed slowly. Make sure you are mixing the sample after each drop until the sample color changes from green to red. Record the number of milliliters used to reach the endpoint. Use this result in the calculation of T-alkalinity.